Hey, what's going on guys? It is Matt or Dunkus, whatever you want to call me. I'm back for another tattoo video, yes. It's been a month since my last appointment. I'm on my way to my final appointment right now to get it all colored in and finished up. And we're good to go here as soon as I, I mean, I'm a little bit late, seven minutes. I got seven minutes to get there. We'll be there on time, hopefully a couple minutes late, doesn't matter, but I'm excited. Getting my first tattoo finally complete. Already looking to get another one. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'm just, <clears throat> I know I want to get another one eventually. But uh, I'm on my way, and I'm gonna show you guys. I, I don't have anybody going with me this time, like last time, so I'm not gonna get much footage while he's actually doing it. So I'll probably just do a little thing afterwards, a couple days after it's done, like Monday or Tuesday. I'll record myself and show you guys the finished product. But until then, this is your little intro. So enjoy. See you guys on the other side. All right, guys, as you can see on the screen, the tattoo meaning, the basic meaning of the koi fish tattoo is this. Um, they're symbols of strength, perseverance, and courage in overcoming adversity because the very strong koi will be able to swim upstream, leap up waterfalls, and they were eventually rewarded at the top of the waterfall. The strongest ones were, re were rewarded by being able to turn into a dragon. So that's the basic mi uh, meaning of this tattoo. Um, basically, it just reminds me that I can overcome anything, and adversity is... Is just a stepping stone in the way of, of what I my my eventual goals in in life and everything. So here's me getting uh, getting shaded. I didn't get to get much of the footage here because, like I said, I didn't have anybody with me. It was just me and the tattoo artist Ryan. Um, once again, in the description, you'll see uh, a link to the website of the place I went. In case you're interested, in case you're in the area. But uh, in a minute here, I'm going to switch to. Uh, me in the bathroom showing you a close-up of the finished product but right now as you can see he's just he's just finishing up the water here I used uh, I chose black for the water instead of blue because black is the more traditional way of doing things but uh, as far as the pain goes I, I explain it a little bit in the the next part but it's not really that painful I'm gonna be honest with you it was kind of overwhelming at first but uh, you get used to it and it's definitely a different kind of pain but <laughs> I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys later Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dunkus. We're back here in my bathroom. Yes, I know. It's weird. But here we were here the first time showing you the outline of my tattoo in four hours in. Now I'm going to show you the finished product eight hours in and what it looks like all colored in and complete. All the skin's peeled off. All the peeling is done. The only thing that's left is just a little bit of peeling around the edges, but <clears throat> it's not as bad as it was uh, about a week ago. Well, four days ago. Four days? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, here it is. The finished product. <clears throat> the finished Koi tattoo colored in and everything. See, it's not... It wasn't too far into my armpit as I thought it would be. But I'm going to show you. This worked a little bit better last time. <clears throat> whenever I brought the camera like this. So we'll start at the top here. The eye is actually green with yellow and a bunch of different colors in it. Um, he asked me what color I wanted it to be. I said I have brown eyes, so... I thought, why not brown? But he said brown may not show up that well. So he went with the next best thing. I, I, I picked out green because I like green eyes. I don't know why. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and go down here. Each flower is supposed to represent something. Um, I don't think I have a story for each of them yet. Um, I can always add flowers. I can never take them away. So I did do some thinking about the tattoo. Um, the koi fish, I, as you saw earlier, hopefully I put that in the video, uh, the meaning of the koi fish tattoo is just strength and perseverance in overcoming adversity. And um, that's kind of what I was going for with this. Plus, I really like the look. And as far as I'm concerned, if no one else likes it, I could care less because, I mean, they don't have to wear it for the rest of their life. I do. <laughs> so, um, that's that. As long as you like your tattoo, you could get a tattoo of a Twinkie. And nobody can say anything because it's not theirs. It's yours. But, um... Yeah, that fin right up there at the top, if you can see the the in your top right or left hand corner of the screen, I'm not sure because it's mirrored, I'm looking in the mirror. Uh, that was the most painful part of the whole tattoo. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if it was right there on my bone whenever I was putting my arm out for him to, to do it or what, but that was the most painful part. I thought the armpit was going to be the worst. It actually was not the worst, so 
Go figure, right? But there's the whole tattoo. Here's me. Um, any questions you guys have in the comments about... Uh, actually, I should address pain. The pain is not... Okay. Imagine you have a sunburn. And you were out in the sun, say, for six hours, and you sunburned all over your arm. Imagine somebody taking, like, the sharp their sharp nails or like a pencil tip or something and just rubbing it like this back and forth back and forth back and forth um, that's what it feels like it feels like somebody's irritating your sunburnt skin so it's not really that bad um, to be honest it's not that bad and it's actually kind of addicting as people <laughs> as people warn me it is kind of addicting but um, there it is finished product one last sweep here <laughs> any questions you guys have leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. But <clears throat> my arms straight down. Just looks like I'm wearing a sleeve. Short sleeve shirt. Any normal short sleeve shirt will cover it. Um, I know I have a few short sleeve shirts that kind of come that show the bottom of that fin, but or the tail. It doesn't really matter. Um, any normal short sleeve shirt, polo, whatever, covers it up. That was my concern. One of my concerns because of work and everything. But. I'm really happy with it, and um, I can't wait to think about my next one. I thought about something continuing over from the fish tattoo over to my chest, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe, maybe not. I'll do something completely different. But here it is. Koi fish tattoo. Hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, all the information about the tattoo shop I got this done at, the website and everything, is going to be in the description. Uh, the, the artist's name is Ryan that did this for me. You guys feel like traveling... <laughs> up to Indiana and getting a tattoo. If you're in the area, whatever, um, it'll be in the description. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you uh, let me know in some way or another. I'm not telling what to do, just let me know if you enjoyed the video. Peace.